Hi, I'm Dr. Mark B. Hubble, and this is your Monday Morning Mini Message. Have you ever written anybody off as a lost cause? Or has somebody written you off as a lost cause? I know that in my own personal life, people had written me off as a lost cause, hopeless, unable to change, and deservedly so, because I had displayed every single type of behavior that would indicate that. Also, I have written off people as a lost cause. I just felt like there was nothing more that could be done. They could not be helped in any way, shape, or form. In that, I was proven wrong. And I hope that the people who wrote me off as a lost cause has been proven wrong in their assumption as well. In Scripture, in the book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 38, Barnabas asked Paul if John Mark, who's known as Mark also, could come with them on their next trip. And Paul had a sharp disagreement with Barnabas and said, no, absolutely not, because John Mark deserted us in Pomphylia. And Paul didn't think that Mark was able to handle the task that they were about to embark on. So there was a sharp disagreement, and Paul and Barnabas, they, they split ways. But later on in Scripture, in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 11, Paul specifically asked for Mark to come along on this next journey that he was about to partake and said that he is helpful to me in my ministry. So at one time, Paul had written Mark off as a lost cause, but apparently Mark had done something that proved himself Maybe over time, consistency, whatever the case may be, Mark had proved himself to be worthy of the calling of spreading the message and going to those places where they could help other people. So once a lost cause, now helpful to the ministry. At once I was a lost cause, and now I am helpful in the ministry. And there are people that I had written off as a lost cause, mistakenly, <laughs> who have proven me wrong. And I've gone on to, to do great things and make great decisions and are people of faith, helping others along the way. And I enjoy being wrong in cases like that, just like I'm sure the people enjoyed being wrong when I made the changes that I did and I put my foot out there to step forward for God. I know that made a lot of people happy, but even still, there's going to be skeptics. There's going to be people who are wary. There's going to be people who who may not have the confidence yet. And that's the point, not yet. At one point in time, Paul was like, no, Mark doesn't have it, not yet, but now he does. The same thing can go for us. We may not have it yet, but it's important for us to work on those things, places that we're weak, places that we need to strengthen our faith or strengthen our courage. And it all points to relying on the strength of God first. When we put God's strength inside of us, we can accomplish anything. On our own, not too much, but with God, all things are possible. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Take care and God bless.